first section of the Berlin Wall fell on November 9th, 1989. And over the next year, the rest of the wall was fully dismantled. Not every segment of the wall, however, was ground up. Some were actually distributed around the world. They can be found in hotel lobbies, uh, uh, museums, um, universities, and inside commercial buildings. In fact, there are four segments of the Berlin Wall in the state of New York. Two in New York City, one in Rochester, and one here in Syracuse. S.Alt City is an interactive mural in downtown Syracuse that celebrates its industrial past as well as its current status for being an artistic hub. On closer inspection, the mural turns out to be a mosaic of hundreds of QR codes, each linking to a community arts organization in the greater Syracuse area. The last of all Waylock buildings along the Erie Canal is located not far behind us, but to our left is an interesting structure. What might look like an old window that has been bricked in by concrete was actually the way that people would remove themselves off barges along the canal and enter the buildings. They would literally leave the canal boats and step down into the buildings. It's a structural thing because of the weight and pressure of the water pushing outward on the canal. It's an interesting little tidbit, so whenever you come by Water Street, take a look at, at, at the building here. This segment is brought to you by Eureka Crafts, celebrating 30 years, featuring jewelry, ceramic, and glass, wood, metal, and fibers, exclusively by American artists. You can find them at 210 Walton Street, Syracuse. The Erie Canal helped create Clinton Square. As it sliced through what is now downtown Syracuse, the canal actually parceled off the lands, which eventually became Clinton Square. It might not look like much, but I'm actually sitting on original Onondaga Quarry limestone that was used as the walls of the Erie Canal. On either side of Clinton Square, you can find original sections of the Erie Canal walls. Sometimes you have to look a little deeper.